what's going on guys it's session and today i'm going to show you this polyrhythm ping pong technique okay so that technique is actually utilizing the three over two polyrhythm what's a polyrhythm it's basically two rhythms within one rhythm let's take a listen to how it sounds without utilizing that ping pong method My right hand is going one, two, three, one, two, three, while my left hand is going one, two, one, two, one. All right, so I'm gonna tell you a secret on how to get this polyrhythm down quick. The secret is hot cup of tea. That's right, hot cup of tea. And what that looks like is hot cup of tea. Right, left, right hot right left right and just do that over and over and over and over however long you want to do it hot cup of tea hot cup of tea hot cup of tea hot cup of tea you see it's pretty simple so the great thing about polyrhythms on the handpan is that you can divide and conquer and basically what that means is you can use one of your hands to create a melody on the top and the other hand to orchestrate your chords at the bottom so with that in mind, let's create a quick melody utilizing this polyrhythm. Let's go. Hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea. Hot cup of tea. Hot cup of tea, that's one. Hot cup of tea, that's two. And remember, if you get confused, just come back down here and go hot, right, left, right, hot, right, left, right, hot, right, left, right, hot, cup of tea. And you're doing the same thing with whatever you want to create up here. It looks like that. So just get that concept down in your head and you can start messing around and you can do some crazy things with just that one polyrhythm. It doesn't have to be so robotic either. It's hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea. You can add rhythm to your hot cup of tea. What do I mean? You can go hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, which is pretty boring, bland, or you can add your own rhythm to your hot cup of tea. start messing with the word hot cup of tea and as long as it sounds right that's your cup of tea make it how you want So let's finish strong and get this three over two ping pong polyrhythm going. Okay, so you're just gonna start on the ding. Hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea. Okay, so once you get that hot cup of tea off the ding, you're gonna go down to a bass note and you're going to do the same thing. Hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea. So the hand you're using for your chords or your bass is going like this. Okay, and the other hand is basically creating some sort of melody. And in this case, it's this ping pong feeling, right? So we're going hot, right, left, right, back to the ding. Hot, right, left, right. Hot, right, left, right. Hot, right, left, right. You're gonna go off the ding, hot cup of tea. Then you're gonna go off your chord note, hot cup of tea, okay? So you're gonna go hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea. See how we ended down here? Because we started here. So we go hot cup of tea, that's the bass, 
are that's like your chords, and then you also have the ding. I'm switching back and forth as you become more proficient with that you're gonna go off to just one note and you're gonna start messing around with other notes okay hot cup of tea 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 okay you can do that a couple times Okay, so to continue, you're going to go hot cup of tea off the ding, and you're going to do the same thing, but on that bass chord note. Hot cup of tea, 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 hot cup of tea. Okay, see, I'm switching it back and forth. Just watch this over and over if you need to. But that is the structure and form to this polyrhythm three over two technique. All right, so once you get that structure and form down, keep this here and try to go down and up, okay? Once you do that, hop over to the right side or your left side, whatever you're doing, and Practice on that side. Okay? And once you do that, you will become a master. All right? So real quick on how to maybe actually incorporate that into your play. If you watched my last video, you'll see that I showed you a little bit of this. All right? I also showed you... Okay, so this actually works very well with this ping pong technique of the three over two polyrhythm. Let me show you. take all that and just kind of jam it together mess with it however you want and you can come up with some pretty cool stuff i would say that this technique was used more when the hand pen first came out definitely hang massive has used this technique in a lot of their songs it just overall brings an uplifting type of beat to your composition all right guys that was it for today's three over two polyrhythm ping pong technique video if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to my channel. Go check out my Instagram as well. If you have a technique that you wanna learn that I possibly know how to do, shoot me a DM and I will most definitely make a video just for you. And with that being said, I hope all you guys are living your best lives and spreading that blissful handpan love. And until next video, session out.